So we're gonna go over our loose leash walking here. So when we get uh, close to the door, butters, sit. Stay. Ah. Come. Good boy. Good boy. So A, I just like to get him to where um, he will give me a sit prior to um, zipping out the door just to get him focused in. Good job, bud. So let me, um, let me break out my clicker here because I do want to uh, demo this a bit. So one thing that we have been um, giving clicks for every time is eye contact. So every time that Butters looks at me and I'm going to give him a click, let him know that I really appreciate him checking in with me. And that will really make it to where I'm the most good, the most important thing in town. And um, it's really what you're looking for. Butters. So he got out, out ahead just a smidge there. Um, so I just said his name as soon as I noticed him uh, getting a little bit too far ahead. So why those, good, why those name games are so crucial. Um, we really want him to be able to focus in as soon as we say his name. Um, so the other tool in our toolbox, a little wrapped up here, but the other tool, whoop, whoop, whoop. there we go, and there we go. Okay, butters. The other tool in our toolbox is uh, changing directions. So if he were uh, getting out in front too many times, usually it's the second time. If, if I call him, uh, I just say his name, he comes back to the zone, gets a little treat, and then immediately makes a beeline for uh, going out ahead. Then at that point, then I, I change directions. So I would just do a 180, turn back the other direction, and he's got to follow me. So when we were initially working, um, we did do quite a bit of uh, switching directions on Mr. Butters and um, getting him to come back to our side by letting him know that he can't just continue uh, forward progressing. He's got to follow us and pay attention to what we're doing. Um, however, at this point, he's really um, pretty locked in and is aware of the fact that uh, good things happen when he focuses in on us and he's not going to um, go rogue. So we'll switch directions on him here um, just so that we can head back this way and you kind of get the gist of what this is supposed to look like. So one, one crucial piece here is that we want to avoid uh, Mr. Butters crossing from side to side. So this is perfect and really ideal in what you're looking for. You just want him to stick on one side. So I've uh, trained him right now to be on my right hand side. I like it when I'm a buffer between dogs and uh, oncoming traffic. People come in the opposite direction and also, if I've got uh, bicyclists and I'm on a trail, they're always going on your left-hand side, so I'd rather have my dog on the right-hand side so he's not stressed out and concerned when he sees cyclists. Um, but all that said, the reasoning behind dogs being on your right-hand side, it's not 100% essential. You could choose to have a dog on your left-hand side. I have folks that um, have neighborhoods, what, recently that said, well, we got cars, uh, or no sidewalk in our neighborhood, and so we have to, uh, we're supposed to walk against traffic, and so you would want your dog on your left-hand side, uh, and they um, wanted their dog on their left-hand side. So it's not set in stone that he has to be on your right-hand side. If you wanted him on your left-hand side, you simply um, treat him on that side for um, the walk, and he'll understand, oh, this is where I'm supposed to be. Um, so just stay consistent and he won't get in the mode of start uh, whipping out uh, and walking around you. That's really what you want to avoid is dogs that um, walk in the front like loop around you. That's, you know, really cumbersome to your walk. So that is perfect. So that's exactly what that should look like. Very, very good job, Mr. Butters. Um, and then one other thing that can be helpful is asking your pup to give you a, a sit before going through doorways. Butters, sit. Butters, sit. Sit. 
Sit. Stay. Come. Butters, come. Uh, so we were in a, uh, an interesting situation, I guess, right there. Um, that's fine. Uh, basically, so what I did there is just took my hand and um, dragged it out over his head to get him to do a sit. Um, I prefer not to do that. I prefer to just tell my dog sit. Um, but if we need to lure him because he's really feeling distracted in that moment, that's okay. But... Um, Initially, I told him sit. He didn't do it. So then I drug my hand over his head and had him give me a sit. So preferably, we'd like them to uh, do it on their own accord. So we could say, uh, butter sit. <clears throat> Stay. Come. Good job, bud. Good boy. Now let's, let's give him another shot here. Butters. Sit. Butters, touch. Good. Sit. So we'll do the hand drag. That's okay. He's, he's distracted outside. Butters, sit. Sit. Stay. Butters, come. Good boy. Don't get stuck in the door. <laughs> Butters, come. Good boy. Good job. Um, so he's uh he's really had issues with that in the past. So um I would honestly do some relax on a mat if that became a, a more of an issue. I'd do relax on a mat in the front. He, that's what that's telling me is that um there's a little bit of uh, anxiety or excitement about, you know, being right there on the patio. So I would do some, uh, some relax on a mat right out there and uh, work through that. Because um, as we know, Mr. Butters has an excellent sit. Uh, sit is not the issue. It's the, uh, it's the environment. So just always uh, work through whatever it is that might be uh, causing the issue. So it's, it's a really good, um, as the, the trainer, you just have to be aware of, uh, what the problem is and that it's not uh, butters understanding of a sit it's the environmental factor surrounding that um, it can also be you know maybe he's uh, doesn't want to come back inside he's like, oh I'm having such a great time outside I don't want to come in in which case then I can make it a real fun exciting um, situation as soon as we get inside we get a piece of chicken we get like a uh, tug toy we, we give have a love party you know we, we pet our dog get real uh, have a really jo joyous time when we get inside, whatever we need to do to make that a really positive experience and really exciting coming back in. Uh, that would be another, uh, another good thing to do. So very good job, Mr. Butters. Yeah, good boy.